watch out. My verse, my throne, I was born for queen and dripping Cuban links. Mommy, Puerto Rican, Panama, in my blood from the floor. The region and my friends got the glow. Do it at the leisure. High ceilings just to match my mood. New whip just to match my shoes. Cloud loud, make you think I'm cool. If you want to know uh, what I'm doing, high ceilings just to match my mood. Blue is popping, blue. Champ in the building, what up, champ? Yeah, we got a special guest tonight, man. We got a special guest. We got my verse flying through. Hey, Steve, what up, man? Steve Wildin' Out Plug. What's popping, bro? I've been seeing you showing us mad love in the last few, few joints, man. Hey, salute, my G, for real. I see you really been showing love, man. I, I respect that, man. Yurks, poppin' champ. What Carolina looking like right now? What Carolina looking like right now, champ? Yeah, bro, I had to. Yeah, we got to... We got a link. I followed you on my on my other shit too, my G. So we definitely gonna um I'ma support the same way you, you support me. I'm big on that, man. That's what M3S3 about. I see how you just hopped on and started supporting like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm support you the same way, man. That's real man shit. You know what I'm saying? So trust me, when you make your post, if you ever need need us to share or do something like that, we with you. Every time. Just let me know. My My verse in the building. Hey, what's good? What's going on with you? Nothing much, man. Here, staying busy, uh, still making these face masks for Soul for Lives. We're still donating. There's still back orders for hospitals right now. So, you know, we're keeping up with the orders and the and the requests. I see that, man. That's big. And you, you create them yourself. like I do. I do. Yeah. I make them with polypropylene, and I, I put uh, a dope lining in the back now. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Man, I really, I see, I see you making those masks, and 
You know, I'm in, I'm inspired because we do masks, but I'll honestly say ours are not as put together as yours are. You know, oh, we're, 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 no, I, I got to pay homage because you really in there, you're putting in the work, and you know, when you're really reaching out, you show people how you're putting in the work. So, everybody, if you are here, make sure you go get you a, a face mask from um, my versus website. Um, all the merch and everything like that, which we're gonna get into. I'm not gonna hold all your time up because I know you, you know, you're busy, you got a lot going on. So, um, <laughs> it's love, though, it's love. I'm, I'm glad I can set some time apart with you and and be able to you know just build with you man I, I appreciate what you do for the culture i always see every battler supporting you and it's clearly because the energy you put out and um and so yeah i'm here it's, it's love appreciate, appreciate that appreciate that all right so what i did was i you know i took the time to uh reach out to my followers a couple of my key followers i reached out to them and I was like, hey, you know, we're going to be talking. Hey, kid, kid in the building. What up, kid, kid? Um, we're going to be talking with my verse. Is there anything that you want to know? So a couple of my key followers sent in a couple questions they want to know. And, you know, I got I got some questions that I want to know as well. So um, we're just going to start from the top. So where are you from? Um, I am Boricua and Panameña. Ooh, ooh, Puerto Rico, <laughs> Panama. We out here. Um, uh Born and raised in Orlando, Florida. Family does come from New York as well. And oh. uh, we got family in, in, in Hollywood, Florida. So, you know, we grow East Coast out here. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. Okay. So you got some, you got some family in NY. Is, is your, your style, because, I mean, you, your style is, you could do anything, which right. is a pain. My uncle which from the Bronx. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got to ask you this. How was it talking to Fat Joe? Like, how how did that feel knowing that somebody of that caliber, yeah, you know, like it's it's, it's praying, uh, paying homage to, to what you do. Like, you, you know, your work is being respected. Um, yo, I'm gonna be real with you. It's like when you see people that are your idols actually like giving you praise, it is, it's surreal, and it's it's like it's kind of a testament to all your hard work, you know, right. that it's being noticed by someone that like you look up to, you know what I mean? And so right. being able to talk with Fat Joe was like, I mean, just meeting him in general, I was just like, Oh my God, <laughs> Fat Joe, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. and, um, you know, it, and, and it helps that, you know, I'm part of Rocksteady crew. Um, you know, my big bro, crazy legs, you mm -hmm. know, he, uh, he's always, put me in the position to where you know I can do my shit and people mm -hmm. can see what I do you know what I mean and so you know he he had me as the official host for Porter Rock Steady 2019 and oh, that was an honor because I've been you know helping with Porter Rock Steady since 2013 which is a festival we do in Puerto Rico to help with the economic uh, crisis that Puerto Rico goes through oh. and, um, yeah so oh. we had we had him headlining last year and so it was through that that I was able to actually meet him. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I met him the first time at the a Rocksteady Crew 40th anniversary, and that that's was where you met Fat Joe originally. That's where I met. Uh, I met him originally. Yeah, that's where I met Fat oh, Joe. Okay. Yeah. So, so you know what I mean. I met him, and it was very you know brief. You know, hey, this is my verse. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. You know, I got a picture with him. You know, I had to get a picture with him, and then. Um, Porter Rock Steady comes around and I was able to, you know, uh, interview him and uh, have a conversation with him. And then, and then from there, you know, I, I, I got a little brave and I was like, yo, you know, you should follow the kid. <laughs> right. Her, you know, and he's like, I got you, I'll follow you. And then from there, he's been, you know, just seeing the work. And um, so salute to Crazy Legs and, and my whole crew, Rock Steady crew for, you know, making that happen. That's dope. So, I heard you say you interviewed him. Yes, yes, I so did. So, so, so you interview? You do interviews too? Um, it was it was at the moment just kind of like behind the scenes of Port of Rock Steady and like how that went. Unfortunately, the uh, person that has the footage, uh, it's just a lot of bullshit. So, uh, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the you for 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 me to be able to. You know what I mean? To... That's what they say. You know, you, 
they, they, they say like a, a slingshot, like you take a couple back forward to shoot further, you know what I'm saying? You ended up, right. you know, ended up on the live and everything with him. So, you know, yeah. he already was familiar with you. He was comfortable with you. You know, I was watching yeah. like, it so dope. Like, just because I'm a huge Fat Joe fan. So yeah. to watch yeah. him, you know, that was big. So I know for you, it had to be crazy. Yo, like, as a Latina in this, and, and especially him representing Boricuas, like, it was, it was, to me, monumental, you know? I wish, mm -hmm. I wish I could have met Big Pun. I've met Chris Rivers, you know what I mean? So that's... Damn! That's close, when? You know what I mean? Back in June? Say it again? No, no, uh, not back in June. I met Chris Rivers when I meet him, 2015. I actually met him my trip to New York when I was battling Bonnie the Diver. Mm. So yeah, so I I'm, I'm, I met him around that time, and and um, you know even then that you know that's been an ongoing like friendship since then you know so um, I just feel like I've been I've been I've been blessed to be put in the right place at the right time. I've, I've followed my intuition. I've, I've followed that inner voice. You know what I mean? I followed the Most High. I let my ancestors guide me. And um, it's been able to to place me in positions where, man, like now you can know. now you confuse. I pay my dues. That's my ancestor. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm with hey, you. I'm cool with you. Let's go. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. That's my favorite. Actually, that what's that? Flowers. That's my favorite. I think it's my favorite because listen, I, the kind of music I like hip hop. Period. I like I like bars and all that. But my favorite kind of music is, a, is something I could ride to and yeah. keep and have on repeat. So flowers is something that I could ride to and just keep on repeat. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah not to interrupt yeah. you, my man, but when you said no, that. No, don't even. Feel free to say the whole song. I'm here. I'm right. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so listen, yeah, this may that. be simple. Like, this may be simple, but uh, I got to ask. So how did you come up with the name My Verse? Um, my verse. Well, I used to, uh, I used to be called Diverse. Mm. And then I realized that there was an MC out there that was already named Diverse. So I remember I was, uh, I was just in this space where I was just doing poetry. And mm. uh, I remember right. I was, I was, uh, I entered a battle, like it was called at the time written battles, you know what I mean? Where mm. you, where you write out your wrong, it's literally the format we have today um, in battles. But like uh, at the time, this was before grind time. And right. I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna enter this battle. Uh, I was the only female in it. And uh, I was like, yo, you know what? I want to name that if, if they, if they try to flip it, they're going to diss themselves. So if they're right. going to be like, yo, my verse is whack. I'm going to be like, I know. Your verse is whack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and that's crazy. Like, and yeah. they'll be like, yo, my verse is ill. They'll be like, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and, and most of the time, most people will never be like, yo, my verse is whack. Most people will be like, yo, my verse was the best. My verse, I kill, my verse killed it. You know what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. verse is, you know, but you ain't heard my verse. You know what I mean? So right, like, right, right. So Damn, that's, that's dope. Like, yeah. That's dope. You're creative as shit, man. I swear. I um, like, it's like you always, from the outside looking in, that's genius. That is genius. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's like a yeah. trick question. So, so we battle, and I'll be like, so who, so who verse was better? We think, I'm going to say my verse was better. You know what? I agree with you. Right. You know, because like, you're better. Be right. Um, okay, so it's from, from your tracks. It just seems like you able to jump into any lane, right? Mm -hmm. Like like fall in line. Like, it's like a, a lyrical exercise, I feel like. Like you listen to that, you get the bars, you know, you get the, the, the steady chorus, and then you come in with you know, you spit it. And then you got uh the lap bam bam, which is out of this world club joint. I don't understand nothing it's saying, yeah. but I know I know what it's doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Right. And then like I said, flowers, which which is my favorite. And then you got Booyah, which I, you know, I could get in the gym with. It seems like, huh? I said, yeah, what? Booyah. You came to Booyah, okay. Yeah, yeah listen. Yeah, <laughs> listen, man. When I say I support somebody, I don't bullshit. Like, I don't say it just to be cool. Like, I'm really in it. I'm with you. So, um, you see, when you be on your lives, you see, boom, even if I don't have a lot of time, I make sure I make, 
make it a thing to tap in when I see you pop up. You know what I'm saying? So my question is, you and all these, you, and it, when it comes to this, you in all these different lanes, and you do it well, right? Mm -hmm. Is it because, so do you listen to all music? Is my question. Like, is it just, do you listen to all music the same yeah. way? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I've never been limited to um, one style of music. I mean, even in my, my first album, State of the Yard, you're going to hear me do the double time. You're going to hear me do Booyah, like you said. You know what I'm saying? That's a joint that you play. You know what I'm saying? If you're on the way to the club or something, you know what I'm saying? And then I like the gym. You know, the record called State of the Art, which is talking about the state of the art and like get, you know, get real conscious. Mm -hmm. uh, Queendom is, is about uh, the empowerment of women and like and right. how we inside mm -hmm. our universe, you know what I mean? And so like, um, yeah, I just don't lim limit myself to like one style, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll listen to, you'll hear me listen to Fanya, and, which is a salsa group. You'll hear me listen to Fanya to Sheck West. You know what I'm saying? And it'll be two completely styles. But um, I just, that's just me as a person. I love music in general. You know what I'm saying? I'll, you'll hear me listen to Janis Joplin, you know? And then the next thing I'm listening to Helter Skelter. So it's right. like, <laughs> like you're going to, you're just going to, you're going to see right. my playlist is just crazy. They'll be like, who is this person? That's <laughs> like, what I want to see. That's what I was going to ask you. What is that? That playlist must be. If somebody were to find your playlist, they probably would not be able to identify whose phone it was. Yeah, they would be like, who is this, like, uh, you know what I'm saying, world music listening ass? <laughs> right. Listening to tracks from Africa, like. Right. You know? Yeah, so, right, right, right. Okay, so with that being said, right, how you so comfortable in all these lanes, it just looks like. Another thing, it just looks like no matter what you're doing, battle rap, the music, the videos, your lives, when you dancing, you always come off, you give this energy as just this most confident person. So it makes me it makes me want to know, like, do you ever get do you ever get the nervousness? Do you ever get butter butterflies like before the battle? Are you ever in the battle? Are you nervous? Like, are you just. Have you gotten past that, or what is it? With, or do you ever get nervous? That's the question. Do you ever get nervous? Um, absolutely. I'm nervous right now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What? Nervous right now. Fuck. Nah, I mean, I always get nervous, and I, I think that's something that's good. I think when you stop getting nervous is when you should just put it away. Fuck it. Mm. Give it up. It don't. It don't exist. If it doesn't exhilarate you anymore it doesn't give you that i'm telling you that nervousness is that edge that's what pushes you that's that adrenaline that's that that's what keeps you like sharp you know what i'm saying that's what keeps you alert because right. like, when you're when you're when you don't care and you're just like ah it's just whatever you know what right. I mean? like it's nothing to you and you don't take it serious that's when <laughs> that's when they that's when you slip that's when you slip you know what i mean I'm anytime i go into a battle you know i'll i'll take a deep breath you know, get my my mom right, but I harness that nervousness. You know what I'm saying? I I harvest that 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 feeling of like this could be it. You know what I mean? And and even like even like preparing for a battle, it's the same way. Like I I'm always in my head like, okay, how how am I gonna? You know what I mean? How am I gonna stand out? How am I gonna cut through the noise? Because there's so many battles now. You know what I mean? You gotta be able to cut right. through the noise, and so. Right. Um, yeah, you know, I get nervous. I get nervous about how people are going to take it. You know what I mean? How is, how are they going to, how are they going to receive this message that I'm mm -hmm. trying to send, you know? So okay. yeah, man, definitely get battled. All right. I definitely, yeah. even That's good to know. All that. You actually, you actually talk, you actually said something that that's a jewel. Um, if you get nervous, it means you care. I like that because I feel like that falls into anything, your passion, yeah, yeah, you know your business, your relationships. Like, if you're nervous, it's because you care. If you lack a days ago, you don't really care what's going on. It's right. probably because you need to be. You need. You don't need to be there anymore. So I like that. Right. I believe that you just dropped the jewel for real. Yeah, man, you gotta keep stuff, you gotta keep challenging yourself. You know, you right? Gotta keep, you know what I'm saying? To be the best, you gotta battle the best pens. You know what I mean? Right. So to be a great fighter, you're not gonna become better by fighting weak people. You know right. what I mean? So. Right. 
I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm, it's just like even when I seen the the battle, the uh, RX shit, when you just start off, what up, bitch? I'm like, she don't get nervous. The first thing I thought, like, she don't get nervous. Like, yeah. but um, okay, so who is my verse in high school? Like, who, who, if you had to say who, were you the popular, were you the cl class clown, were you, the, and, you know, who, who was my verse in high school? Um, my verse in high school, I I had one friend. I was, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying I had one friend, probably one or two friends, and um, you know, me and her, we just we used to prank on people. Like we was just you prank. <laughs> like we used to. I remember so I had a little girl. So when I was in high school, like I went to high school, um, and like ninth grade, they had like a ninth grade center. So it was like ninth grade center, and then you had the rest of high school. You know what I mean? So um, I went to a ninth grade center, and then I ended up going to a different school. And uh, when I was in tenth grade, but um, yeah, in high school, like I always had one friend, and like I just remember sometimes like we would we would be walking, and like we have like a water bottle, and we'd be like talking like we're with our hands and we'll be like oh my gosh can you believe them be like wetting people around us like we just did dumb shit like that like i it was just it was jokes but we used to have mad fun you know yeah he was to, bad like, he was bad at high school i was a little, little yeah a little, little, <laughs> little you know i was i was i was a little crazy back then but you know That's and then like um i came to a realization um in high school that like I'm a master of my destiny. I'm a master of Ooh. my decisions. I'm a master. And sometimes that's good, but sometimes that, that can lead you to a path where you're just like, fuck it, I don't care. Like, I don't need to fucking be here. I can fucking, I can leave. Like, I can get educated somewhere else. Y'all ain't teaching me shit right. here. Bye. You know what right. I mean? And so I, uh, I eventually, like, got expelled from school because I was fighting. I ended up going to, like, I ended up going to a new school and, um, it was like a like super rich neighborhood and shit because my mom wanted me to because my mom eventually bought a house when I was uh, 13. She bought a crib and right. but she bought it in the hood because I was only where she could like afford it. You know what I mean? Right. And so like um, she bought it in the hood. And so she was like, you know, I don't want you. I want you to go into like, unfortunately, underprivileged areas don't have the best education. And it's unfortunate. You know what I mean? And so right. my mom was like, all right, well, we're going to put you in an, I'm going to put you in another school um, that was in more of a, they pay higher taxes. How is it? Got it. Um, so I ended up going, I ended up going to the school, but it got me into a lot of trouble. I got into a lot of fights, you know what I mean? And ultimately I stopped going to school. And then when I was in school, I was fighting. And so I got expelled. I got expelled okay. from school. What grade was this? Hmm? What grade was this? Got this, what? Was, this was 10th grade. Okay. And then I ended up going to military school. And that's, mm -hmm. where, that's where, that's why that picture for fall in line, that's literally me in military school. Right. And yeah, uh, yeah. I went to military school by choice. I went by choice. It wasn't, you, it wasn't, you, you I went by choice. To go? Because, hmm? You volunteered to go? Yeah. I okay. went by choice uh, because when you went to this military school, you could graduate high school early. So uh, you, you was ready to be done. I was like, yo, let me just get to college. <laughs> let me do that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what really fucking matters. You know what I mean? Is your, right. your degree. So I ended up, I ended up uh, graduating from there. Yo, when I went into military school, I was like, yo, I'm going to go into military school and I'm going to do everything I was supposed to do. Like, I went and got into, I was in the drill team. I was mm -hmm. in, um, I was in a sorority. Um, I, I ran. I was sergeant major. Like I used to call the yeah. attention. Like I was really like I had some cool ass stories. I remember one time. I remember one time. Um, we had, there was three platoons, right? And uh, the second and third platoon got they because we would have a meeting at five in the morning every morning, right? right. So we met Must at five. Have, in, say it again. Muster? Uh, Is it called muster? muster in the, uh, go ahead. I was in the military. I was in the Navy. I don't know what it's called there, but go ahead. It was, go quasi, ahead. It was uh, quasi army. So, but it was okay. like a National Guard base. Um, okay, go ahead. And so, so like, I remember, you know, it was 
five, it was like 5.03. And first platoon hadn't got there yet. So I went and called the whole academy to attention. And that was like mad ballsy. And like the cadres and everybody that was like, like the, the adults who <laughs> were like pissed as fuck. They were like, yo, how, how she gonna call attention? I was like, cause they're late to my formation. And I was <laughs> like, yo. These guys, they was mad funny. Like, it was cool. And Damn. then, like, the actual sergeant major was like, I like that. I like I that. Like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know we love it. So, yeah, I was loving it. So, like, I took advantage of being in that. And I, and I always say, like, to the students that I work with and stuff, like, take advantage of the extracurricular activities that you have in school. Because you have no idea how that's going to, like, pay off and, like, actually be a jewel for you in the future you know what i'm saying yes right. you know what i mean like yes you know a pay attention in class whatever like that but you what you really learn in life is outside of that you know what i'm saying and like right. and actually being dedicated to a goal you know what i mean a goal. Um, being dedicated right. to a goal like learning a new skill or something like that mm -hmm. castle and Canada, like that that paid that that's going to be something that that's going to help you in the future you know um, so that's what I did. I, I tried to keep myself busy in military school. And then, yeah. And then from there, I kind of like, that's where I found spoken word. And so that was the journey of doing poetry. And, and then I graduated and went to college. I was in college at 17. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell me Damn. shit. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So you was like yeah. one of the youngest people on the campus. Yeah, it was so cool. <laughs> They probably thought you like, like a genius or something out there. Yeah, you know, I was kind of genius for graduating early, you know. <laughs> right. Um, it was because right. it was a military school, a, a government-funded school, and, uh, you know, a lot of the girls that went there were either, you know, coming from traumatic homes or, or, um, or just, you know, were just rebels with no cause. And so yeah. I became a rebel with the cause once I, once yeah. I left there. So, so Florida Youth Challenge Academy, salute to them. So let me ask you this. You didn't you didn't have an interest in going to the military at all, like from there? You 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 knew like military um, school you didn't ever think military school, active duty. You never thought that. Yeah. I I did, but like mm, I just felt like I don't know. I it's not even it's just I liked Marines because Marines was like the hardest ones, you know what I mean? Damn, um, my bird. Okay. But they was, that they, 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 you know, but they in the front lines, like they right there is the first to die. So I was like, you know what? Right. Um, I feel like I got a message, you know what I mean? And I got to be a, I got to be a, I found out that, that my, my purpose is in being a messenger, a messenger of truth, a messenger of speaking life. Um, and so that was, that was truly by calling, you know what I mean? And um, I just felt like there was just, it just wasn't fair. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of the people that were in there was a lot of brown and Latino people. And so it's just like, I started, I started waking up, man. Like I started mm -hmm. listening to Mortal Technique and I was like, word. Man, he, he, had me, he, he had me fucked up. Go ahead though. I ain't gonna get into that. Cause he see, he gets so deep. I remember talking like about a, cause you know, I'll I'll go forever about this. But I remember he used to talk about Illuminati and all that stuff. So I remember yeah, trying to talk to my friends about it. Like, Man, you tripping? I mean, I wasn't like in a whole a whole thing listening to him. So, but go ahead, go ahead. My bad. No, go ahead. No, go. I'm I'm here. I'm here. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we could go on. We could, that's a whole other tunnel of. Uh, you know what I mean? And so, like, I just felt like a, a lot of it was, and, and no disrespect, a salute to everybody that's in the service that, you know what I mean, that has that, you know what I'm saying, pretty much gives a scare to all the other countries. Uh, you know, we salute to y'all, but I, I, I be feeling like sometimes it's a setup. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you going to die for a country that don't give a fuck about you. And mm. so, like, that's just one of those mm. things that, like, at that moment, I'm like, mm. I can I, I can I can really actually make a change by waking waking up my people and um being a voice for the voiceless. And so that was that that to me was my my purpose. And so 
yeah but don't get it twisted we need we need protection we need to 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 we need to have an organized uh protection you know what i mean but um, right but without a special interest included you know what i but mean I'm yeah, there you go. There you go. I listen. To protect I, I, ourselves, not to bully people and be in other people's countries taking their shit. You know what I mean? Right. Or right. Trying to be like, you know. So it it just it's not it's not right why some of why some of the wars are what they are. So exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna chop it up with you when I see you again. Um. Be out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely gonna chop. So okay. So um. Who are your top five? Not not battle rappers. Who your, who is my versus top five? MCs? Rappers. Rappers. Okay. Uh top five MCs. Um, big pun. That's no and this is in order, right? Nah, this ain't no order. This is just big I pun. need order. I need order. It's, this is important. Nah, we can't because like you gotta understand well, we like no, I can't. I can't say. I can't say. Guru is better because a lot of people saying me saying Guru in my top five is like they're like, nah, he ain't a lyrical miracle. And it's just it's the impact, his impact in exactly. my life, like what he's done for, for you, me. exactly for you. You know what I'm saying? That's why. Um, that's why. That's why. I mean, you ain't got to, but that's why I wanted it in order because I feel like it is telling me who impacted you more. You know? Uh huh. But you ain't gotta do it. Just give me your top five. Yeah. Um top five. We're gonna have to say Pun. 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 Okay. Guru. Mm -hmm. Can we count Black Star as one person? <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. No. Nah, That's it. cheating. No. Uh uh. I can't let you go that easy. I need it to be no. But we can't have most Def and Ty Lib take up two spots, you know. Why we I mean? that? Two people. Um, okay, so you got one more left then. Common. Common. Um, but that's, it's not that's it. enough. It's five. It's five. Nah, that wasn't five. It's, that was like four. That's five. Pun. Ty pun. Lib, no, Def. ain't no Ty Lib. It's pun. Is um. Most Def. Huh? Most Dev. Most Dev. Talib. Common. Common and then um Guru. Oh, five. We out of here. Okay, no, five. Like, I, I can't let no, you change. No, 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 no. I gotta be one person. No. I'm gonna let you get a runner up. Who your runner up? Um that impacted me. Um. No, my. What you mean? No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Yo, fuck that. Mob Deep, Core Mega. Um, These are group. Who else? You can do the group. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. Mob Deep, Core Mega, motherfucking. You what? What are we doing? Hold on. Uh, De La Soul. So hold on, hold on. We on twenty seven. I just need five. So hold up. Um, we done. Fuck that, Erica Badu. Like, let me tell you something. Erica Badu is more MC than any of these chicks. I'm saying. Wait a minute, but, but Lauren Hill. You mean Lauren Hill? Hill? Erica Badu rap? She might as well. She's fire. Listen, because I'm letting you cheat. We ain't cheating. You got five. You said Guru, Pun, Talib, Common, Most Def. We out of here. So listen Wu -Tang. to this. Wu Tang. <laughs> Come on. Wu -Tang. Wu -Tang. So wait, wait, wait. Let's get it. Wait, that's like your top 108. We can't do go that far. You got five. You wild, so I can't put Wu Tang in there. Like, come on, man. They well, gonna, if we're gonna do groups, we're gonna, we gonna come back to groups. We're gonna come back to groups. Okay? Okay, groups. And I respect that. I respect that. But if we say Wu, you you're going into the two hundreds. They got killer arm. We're gonna relax. We're gonna relax. So listen to this. How'd you get into poetry, real quick? Because I need to ask you something right after that. How'd you get into poetry? In college? Um, military. Well, actually, not. I got into poetry. So I got into poetry um, through writing a, a Mother's Day card. It was a what? Mother's Day card that I wrote for my mom. Really? 
Yeah, and that's how I wrote a card for her, and it rhymes really good. And then I was like, oh, this is cool. And then, um, and then for Valentine's Day, I had a school project where we had to write a love poem. So I wrote a love poem. And then I realized like rhyming was really easy for me. Like I was like, oh, I can, I can do this. Like to me, poetry was rhyming. It wasn't like I am a, a tree branch. You know what I mean? Like it, it didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand that part of poetry until later. You know what I mean? Right. It, 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 there's certain ways you can understand. Sometimes people don't understand the poetry because it's like gibberish. You're like, what? But once you understand like figurative language, that's when, that's when you can understand, you could see the imagery, what they're trying to do. Everything in poetry is really imagery and like um, kind of comparing, they do a lot of like personification and personification is when you like make, it's kind of like Nas when he made a song about a mm -hmm. gun and the gun was a person. It's like you're adding people yeah. perspective or people attributes to um, an object. And so uh, that, that happens a lot in poetry. So like, I guess once you understand that part, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, back to like when I started doing poetry, um, I started, I'll say sixth grade. Sixth grade? Sixth grade. Yeah, sixth You've been grade. That's when I started doing poetry. Damn. Okay. I've been for a very long time. That's why I teach it. <laughs> You teach? Yeah, I do. I work with a company called, or not company, organization called The Right. And uh, we've been for a very long time. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't really worked with them in the past, like, year because it's been, you know, this whole corona thing and everything. And, like, you know, whenever I can, you know, help and, like, judge bad or judge poetry, um, that's, you know, I try to help with them. But, yes, I did a lot of mentoring with them. Um, at first, it was called Spoken Word Press. And so what we do is we go to different poetry clubs in different high schools, and we um, pretty much teach kids, you know, different techniques of poetry and, like, uh, different ways of understanding it and different ways of performing it. So, yeah. So that's, I mean, yes. I've been doing it for a while to know, like, that's a fire-ass poem. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Okay. So the next two questions, right? Because... Listen, I see how you work, right? So I need you to answer the next two questions in two seconds. Okay. With the with with the name. These are battles. So you're putting everything you have in your account, your whole life into the winner of this battle. Who is it? Tay or Daylight? Tay Rock or Daylight? Who is going to win between Tay Rock or Daylight? Are they battling? Yeah, they, they're battling. No, yeah, they're battling. Coming up. July 11th. Well. Two seconds. Everything. Uh, all right, I got you. Taylight. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Listen. Pick one. Um, I'm gonna pick what who am I gonna pick to win? Um, man, I the reason I'm gonna pick this person because they got a lot to prove. They don't, you know, they've been a while away for a long time, so I'm gonna say day. Day is gonna day is gonna come in. He's gonna come in. He's gonna come in. He's gonna come in crazy, man. Okay. Um, but you know, Tay Rock has had his back against the wall, so I, I don't want to call it because when I'm wrong, people are gonna be like, bitch. <laughs> you caught it already, though. We good. So look. I did. I did. <laughs> Surf I did. or Lux? Surf or Lux? Surf or Lux? I mean, I like my style is Lux. You know what I mean? So I would say I would say Lux, but I know Surf knows what the fuck he's supposed to do. So. But we, but you pick Lux. All right, so boom. We got luck. You, they got <laughs> okay, boom. Who are your personal top five battle rappers? Five. That's it. No clicks, none of that. Five. My verse. My verse. See, you know what? I'm curious as to why you didn't put I'm yourself. Saying, not including me. Not including me. I'm you like... can do that. Every listen, every not everybody but Pat State. 
But everybody else I talked to said they, they said their self. Okay. But so if, top if you want to put yourself, you can put yourself. Yeah, of course. Top four would be <laughs> um past day. Um, oh really? Oh nice, nice. Okay. Top, um, this is not order. This is no order. Why no order? Because there's no order. There's no order. There's no order. Loaded Lux, Pat Stay, okay. uh, K Shine, and uh, My Verse again. Let me see. Um, let me say. Uh, um, K Shine, Lux, uh, Pat Stay, and um, um. Man, like, you know, you talking about all times? You know? What I'm talking about, I'm talking about yours. It's yours, period. You. That I'll never miss their battle, like, if it drops. I ain't Solomon. If it drops, if, this, if these people battle drop, you making it a, a thing to see. Um, yeah. Pat State, K Shine, Lux, and, uh,. I like Iron Solomon, man. I think Iron Solomon is like a fucking solid yeah, writer. Yeah. Like he's fire. You're big. You're big. Yeah. You're big. Okay. Thanks. I think it's solid. So, I think we, you know, if that was a team. You know what I'm saying? That's a good starter. Right. <laughs> at what age? At what? At what age did you start dancing? Um. Break then. Oh, damn, the lights went out. Uh oh. Is that me? There you go. No. five years and then I was supposed to go into point and then it was too expensive for my mom to be able to do that you know so <laughs> I'm looking mad <laughs> mysterious and shit hold on <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yo so I, I've been dancing since I was a little girl since I was a little girl my mom had me she she like I said my mom always kept me in extracurricular activities to be able to keep me cultured and um mm -hmm. so I I started I started dancing very, at a very young age, doing ballet. And then eventually my mom put me into side You do ballet? Ballet. You did yeah, ballet? I started off, yeah, I started off as a ballerina. And then, um, and then eventually I got into salsa and then flamenco. And then, um, yeah, that's, that eventually got me into breaking, man. Yeah. Dope, so, dope, dope. I've been dancing all my life. You were just crazy talented. Okay, so here my here's here's another question. What was the experience like being on Wild and Out? Uh, it's probably one of the most fun places to like work for. Like it's amazing uh, experience. Um, people there are really, you know, Nick Cannon is so humble. He does he does this platform for people to to build off of, you know what I mean? And so you can feel that there, you know what I mean? Like they want you to do your best. They want you to um, really like, to really shine, you know what I mean? And and, and um, being part of Wall and Out, just that experience was incredible. And um, yeah, I recommend every battle rapper that gets the opportunity to go, do it, definitely do it. It's gonna springboard you to a lot of shit, like, yeah. just a lot of yeah. opportunities like you know what i mean and it's just great for your resume you know they can't deny you anymore yeah. nobody can say you don't do enough because it's like i battled some of the best in the game you know what i mean i battled conceded if we're gonna say these battles count we're gonna say that i battled conceded and i battled hitman hollow so right 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 so listen so my next my next one is 
Where did you find the love for comedy? Um, I've always been a, a goofy person, like just funny in general. Like that's always been my my thing. You know what I mean? Like anybody that knows me knows that I always got jokes. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, where did I find the love for comedy? I mean, I when I started doing Wildin' Out, um, they said, "Yo, you got to take an improv class." So I took an improv class and I felt and I found that like improv was fun, you know, like it was a fun mm -hmm. it was it's fun and, and it's comedic, you know what I mean? If you it, you're good when you're like really comedic. And it doesn't always have to be comedic, but um I'm just watching my face. Um it doesn't always have to be comedic, but um from there I decided, you know what, I would love to get into writing scripts and like mm -hmm. jokes and like if I wanted to do sitcoms or write, you know what I mean? Or write punchlines for, for, you know, Saturday Night Live or whatever, you know what I mean? So I decided, man, you know, since Wildin' Out can spring, springboard me to, to that, that scene, you know what I mean? As writers or writers for the show and stuff. Um, what, what better way than to take a comedy class with improv comedy? And so, right. um, I went to improv comedy classes and uh, with my boy, Carmen, shout out to him. Um, and yeah, man, it, it's really interesting when you learn the formula of writing a joke. And when you learn the formula, there's people that are naturally, that naturally got it. That you can't, right. you can't teach that shit. Like there's, there's right. certain shit that you just can't teach. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. DC Young Fly is one of them cats that like. I mean, that's who I was naturally. thinking about. I was thinking about him. He's right. just naturally funny. You know what I'm saying? His just whole persona. He's just, it's, he walks into a room and like, he knows how to make you laugh. You know what I mean? And uh, not to say that's not something that I could do, you know, but I, I'm talking about structure, like writing jokes for people. You know what I mean? Writing jokes for a show writing a sitcom and and that's just you know just going beyond being a stand-up comedian being a writer you know what i mean just being a writer because i'm all around a writer you know i'm a poet battle rapper mc you know what i mean i have two scripts that i've written that you know god willing we you we know we get this off the ground we can get you know i'm really on some like doing my own shit you know Damn, so I'm a Renaissance woman. I'm dead ass a Renaissance woman. Like that's just that's just that's what I am. You know what I mean? And so I wanted to um, explore, explore um, joke structure. So that's what got me into to doing comedy and like trying stand up. Because um, in itself, like battle rap is, if you're funny enough, it's like stand up. It's like a roast. You know what I mean? Right. It's like you're on like comedy, a roast. It's like a roast. Like a rose. So, um, you know, naturally that's something that I do. Like I and so I was just like, you know, let me explore this this part of myself. As as much time as I have on this earth, I want to be able to see every part of who I can be. You know what I mean? So yeah. I like that. I like that. So in college, right? I saw that you studied journalism, right? Yeah. I switched my major from fashion to journalism. In fashion. Okay, that's what I'm about to say. In fashion. Now, I see, I see hands down where fashion is still a part of the journey, right? Yeah, it's very Is perfect. journalism still a part of the journey? Say it again. Is journalism a, is still a part of your journey? Journalism. Um... You know, I'm be real with you. I went to school for journalism, and I didn't have enough money to pay for books. You know, it was just I just like just didn't have enough money to pay for books. Like you could pay for the class, financial aid can help you with shit, but you ain't got enough money to pay for it. It's like not being able to pay for how the fuck do I have to pay for these classes and for my books? Like what the you fuck? Book. Have the book that, is, that is. That don't make no sense. That don't make no motherfucking sense. I, got I, another, I, have a, I, could go, I could go all night about this. I was in college. I know what you're talking about. I could go all night about that. But go ahead. Yeah. That's it. That's go ahead. No, no, absolutely. So, like, um, so, yeah, so, like, it was just, yeah, 
journalism i feel like journalism i do it through my music like i'll i'll do the journalism through my music i'll say the news through my music you know what i mean and i felt like nowadays like yes you can get a college degree in journalism but are you gonna say the truth are they gonna let you say the truth you know what i mean you're better off just being a fucking blogger and you know fact checking your resources and then going from there, you know what I mean? Nowadays, it's like reporters, they're so restricted on saying what the fuck they're supposed, like saying the truth, you know? Right. And it's right. scary because they literally all have the same. They all have the same story. You know, they all have the same script. It's bugged out. It's That's crazy. something too. That's something too. I don't like pushing my shit on people, though. Yeah. But that's something too. That's something too. You know, there's there's many journeys in my life that I could have taken, and it's just like, I'm, you know, when you find your purpose, mm -hmm. ground yourself with that purpose. Mm. And so, you know, in a way, your purpose is always going to find you. Let me tell you, I stepped away from doing fashion, and look it, I'm back in doing fashion. I stepped away from 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 journalism, and look. I'm having to do journalism through my battles, doing mm -hmm. journalism through, you know what I'm saying? Saying current events or saying what's happening in, in the world right now through my music. You know what I mean? I think the, the love for that is there and your purpose is always going to find you. Always going to find you. Bird, slow down. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Slow down. When you find your purpose, ground yourself in your purpose. I got to have to put that in my notes. Yeah, you, man. <laughs> you dropping jewels. Listen, so many people look up to you. So many people going to hear this and be inspired by you. Like, a lot of the stuff that you say that come to you naturally, like how I just took that, and I'm going to move with that. Boy. You dropping jewels tonight. You dropping jewels tonight. So here, here goes something else that's kind of in, in the same lane of that. How important is How important to you is it to motivate people around you? Um, you know, I just feel like you're as strong as the people that are around you. You know what I mean? You're as strong as the people that are around you. Like, you, like, if you're not encouraging your people to be better, or if you're not encouraging or being completely honest with them and letting them know, like, mm, fam, I think that could be a little, mm, it's a little shaky, you know what I mean? Um, then, you know, you, you, like I said, you're not going to be as, as strong. Like, you, you got to have a good support system you know what i mean you got to have the people that you keep around you you know if you're the smartest person in your circle then you just in the wrong circle dead ass you know what i mean so like i i to me i feel like you know encouraging your peoples it's not just being yes man you know what i mean you don't want to be just a yes man but you also don't want to be a no man either you don't want to be you don't want to be the person that every single time someone gives you a uh, a suggestion or an idea or something that they want to do with their life. You don't want to be that person that's always like, mm, I don't know if that's going to work. Mm, I think that's stupid. Mm, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like, you got to sometimes, like, have faith in the people. You have to obviously be around people you trust that if they're going to suggest something to you, you know what I mean? That's where sometimes, you know, in your mind, you're like, logically, that might not make sense. But intuition, like, following that inner voice knowing that like okay i'm gonna rock with you in this you know what i mean okay i see what you're doing i'm gonna rock with you on that you know or, or encourage a person to, to like if they're like oh i have this new thing that i want to try you know what i mean they're sharing that with you because you know they want you to be like yeah do that shit you know and so yeah i believe in encouraging your, your peoples all the way you know what i mean but also keep it real with them <laughs> make the shit sound crazy Right, right. Okay, so I got two more for you. I know they're going to kick us off in a minute. I got two more for you. Okay. What advice do you give to any woman, any man too, you know? But I know you got a lot of females who see you every day making moves, see you every day not making excuses, see you every day doing this, doing that. Like we cover every, we covered everything that you do that, I, that, I, that I'm familiar with. What advice can you give to anybody watching you who hits a roadblock and is like, 
and they're following their dreams. They're chasing whatever it is they want to do, and they hit a they hit a roadblock, and they're like, you know what? I, I'm done. I can't do this shit. What advice? Because I know you hit it mad times. You had to because you're in so many lanes, and you are coming. You come to the forefront with so many lanes. Like I feel like the 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 the, the average person that moves the way you move maybe has all these talents and are good in all these things, but when they finally arrive, they maybe have this one thing. I see you like, uh, 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 and you st you're still at your level with all these things. Like, yeah, I'm here. I'm juggling all of this. What's up? So how do you, what advice can you give to somebody who feels like giving up on a dream at the end of the day? That's the best way I got to say it. Um, Especially a woman. I mean... The worst thing to do is to keep starting over because it's, mm. it's just going to take you longer to get to where you have to go. You know what I mean? And like, um, there's going to be constant, like, I believe there's like negative energies that be wanted you to, to wanting you to quit because you're about to get to where you need to be. You understand? Like when you're about to get to where you want to go, the enemy's going to tell you, you ain't worth it. Oh, you ain't, you, it ain't, this ain't for you. And it's because you were about to get to where you need to be. You understand? Mm. When, I'm telling you, the hardship comes right before your blessing. And all I say is this, that energy of perseverance, it's going to always show. It's going to show, like, when you, when you're lazy, all you're going to bring is lazy energy. When you're, like, persistent and, and con when you're persistent and, like, and like what you want, it's going to come to you. And sometimes it might take a little longer because you're not, you're not ready for it yet. You're mentally not ready or spiritually not ready or spiritually aligned for that right now. You know what I mean? And um, you have to accept being accepting of, you know, obviously, you know, fight for the things that you need to fight for, right? Fight for your, for your goals, fight for your goals, right? And be assertive on that. But don't take the bullshit that happens to you. Don't take it personal. Understand that there's certain things you can't control. And when you find that acceptance in it and surrender to that, I mean, that's when you, you truly, you're going to reach your goal. You know what I mean? You're going to get to your purpose of what you, of what you want. And like, don't quit. Because that moment where you feel like quitting it's because you're way closer than you think. Oh. Oh. Yo, you... <laughs> Dope. Y'all heard that. Okay, so listen. Wow, that was fire. Okay, so let me, let me say this. I'm being selfish because I'm really taking a lot of notes, honestly. And I know people need to hear what you got to say. So let me, let me move forward. I'm going to say this before they kick us off. What's next from my verse? I know you got the mask, and you got Bam. Um, you know the single. What's next? What you got coming, and what they need to be looking at from my verse, and where can they go to get it? Well, make sure you guys go to myversewashere.com. Get yourself a bucket hat, get yourself a face mask if you need one. Um, you know we got more merch coming out, um, so definitely keep a lookout. Uh, I appreciate everybody that has been, you know copping something to look fly and you know getting in on the cool designs that we've been doing i mean i'm so super happy uh shout out to my team shout outs to um, um my djs uh panic vision shout outs to all of my peoples um all of my supporters crazy legs rocksteady crew um i salute to all of my all of my sisters that are out here um supporting the world the, the queens out here and um i just want to uh just you know make sure you guys follow your girl what i have coming out soon is going to be a lot more merch battles i'm working on i really was you know working on trying to get on on gnome unfortunately you know we don't know what happened but it's all love it's all love i love url i love uh i love smack i love all my people's all my battle rap culture hip-hop in general um and yeah i mean battle rap i'm working on that i'm working on a new battle to come out you, you got a 
Hmm? It gave us 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Okay. MyBirdSpeedsHere.com. Make sure you guys go 